Hey, welcome, my name is Marley. I'm a first year medical student and 80s new wave lover. And today you're gonna get a look at what med school from home looks like, plus what practicing cardio and respiratory exams was like. Now, who knows how long this Zoom School of Medicine thing is going to last. And as I mentioned later in this video, there are a lot of advantages and disadvantages to this med school from home life, which I think incoming and prospective medical students should definitely be aware of in case this is a new normal. So without further ado, let's get going. <laughs> I grab the jacket, the outside jacket, and then go freak out mode. Oh, yeah, they know. <laughs> oh, should we go? <laughs> you guys are so lurpy. All right, breakfast time. Hi, oh, guys. Um, glow up. Ding. I actually had to get ready today, kind of like a little bit, because we're actually doing something in person. That's so exciting. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that feels like this, but like anything in person, it feels like high stakes and so important. And so I'm, anyway, I like went way overboard, making sure that I'm like publicly presentable because I'm excited, I'm excited. We're actually gonna like work with other, other students and be able to practice cardiac and respiratory exams on each other. And I'm pumped, so uh, that'll be in a few hours. So what we're doing now in a few minutes is a journal club type thing. It's like this mandatory session where uh, we all, a bunch of students come together in a group and we talk about some of the literature that we were you know, assigned to read. And then we go and look for an article on our own. This one's about medical error. And actually it's really interesting. So I'm excited for that. That'll start in maybe 10 minutes. So after that, I'll have a little bit of a break to review the cardiac and respiratory exams before I head over to the clinical skills center to actually practice and stuff. Okay, any of y'all like eat oatmeal for breakfast, like willingly? Cause that, will, I did not think I was ever gonna be that person. I don't know what it is about med students and oatmeal. I know like six off the top of my head who are like, oh yeah, oatmeal, oatmeal's way to go. And I'm like, really? And uh, lo and behold, coaches oats came into my life. And now this is all I eat in the morning. It's crazy. I never liked this stuff, but hey, it's growing on me. I'm into it now, whatever. So something exciting that happened. Uh, Yeah, we got an email about ordering finally our white coats. I know, we're almost second years. We haven't gotten our coats yet. Um, I think it had something to do with the supply chain, COVID, whatever, something. I'm sure they had a good reason. At least they better have had a good reason. This is big, cause like the white coats, that's like, here you go, you're you're starting, you're legit. Even if you don't know anything yet, you know? You're like so much looking forward to getting that when you start, it was just kind of like, oh, to not be able to get it and to not be able to like have the white coat ceremony and make it official, feel like you're really, heading into this whole career thing that you've wanted for years and years and years. Anyway, point is, so stoked to be able to <laughs> finally get them. We'll get them and have our white coat ceremony officially in August, it sounds like. And now I've got to get hop onto that journal club class, so peace. Three hours later. Whew, just finished our oh, cardiac and respiratory exam practice thing with uh, other students and standardized patients. That was really cool. Oh, hold on. That, that took about an hour, went through cardio and respiratory exams on for me and I did it, worked with a partner and so we both each did each other's cardiac and respiratory exams. That was really cool. I mean, it was kind of like inherently awkward a little bit just because it's like your first time trying it on someone else um, besides yourself or like, your roommate or significant other or whatever, you read about all this stuff and you watch all these videos about how to do these exams and they tell you what to look for like in words, but it's so much different when you're there like with somebody else and you, you know, tell them, okay, put your arms up, breathe. And when, when you feel my stethoscope on your back and you go to all the spots on the back to auscultate, use your stethoscope to hear the breathing sounds and hearing like the changes that you've been told about are supposed to be there and like actually understanding what's going on and why those sounds are there 
and what it might sound like if like something was really really wrong like if you had pneumonia or something how would it change and like the heart sounds you're like okay it's not just a thud thud it's like now you can say oh this first thud means it's the heart's doing this the second thud means doing that and if it's making this weird whooshing sound in this particular spot that means that this is going on and that could be bad it's so nice to actually be able to kind of use that stethoscope that you get on the first day because you get it and you're like what this is cool but like i don't know what to do with it and now you can actually do some stuff with that and even though the people that you're working with, usually students and stuff, like we're all pretty generally healthy. So you're not gonna see any like weird zebra cases and, and stuff. You're gonna basically, we're basically working on like recognizing what normal is and what normal looks like and sounds like. Just like being able to use a stethoscope at all now is so nice. Now it's not just like that thing that is chilling in a box in your room. You can actually take that out and maybe identify our murmur. Anyway, I just think that's that's great that we're finally, finally getting to the point where it's not just like this dangly thing that we have for like our Instagram photos. It's like an actual tool that we can actually use to listen to stuff and know what it is we're listening to. You know, like I think that's so awesome. And yeah, sure, like it's not completely comfortable. You're not in there like oh this is easy peasy sailing right through i know exactly what to do no like there's all these things that you have to worry about because even though you're working with well most of us worked with fellow students uh even though you both know what's supposed to be done next technically you're supposed you're still supposed to treat them like like okay i'm gonna be doing this now and treat them talk to them as if they were like a patient and so you have to get used to speaking like that and explaining what you're doing while you're going or like asking them to do certain things at certain times and getting used to just the flow of things because like it's all there but it's not like integrated yet you know i love these because even though it's kind of nerve-wracking because you don't want to look stupid <laughs> you inevitably kind of will it's just like that's the nature of this thing you're just learning this is stuff that we're going to be doing for the rest of our career so we kind of have to get it right and they provide like a super safe environment and to, to do that practice and to ask all the questions that you need to ask and stuff. So I thought it was great. And luckily I was able to see a lot of people today, like obviously not all jam packed, but like coming and going and, and seeing a ton of uh, students and faculty today. So that's the most number of people I've seen in months. <laughs> it's a good day. All this being like social and awkward has uh, really made me hungry. So I'm gonna go home and make myself a burrito, maybe go on a run. Yeah, we'll see. So, got home, I changed into some cozy clothes because I really need to get a lot of stuff done and I like can't focus when I'm not comfortable. Like if I'm not cozy, then I can't just like sit for hours and onky, it's impossible. I have like 500 cards due or something, so gotta get on that. Hopefully that sh I'm. If I go fast, I can do it in two hours. And then I use the board vitals question banks because they are provided through our school. I'm gonna go ahead and do a bunch of questions from that as well. Cause I kind of need to like space them out. There's like four or 500 questions for cardiovascular. Then I'll probably go on a run after I get all that stuff done. Cause it's still raining. So don't really want to go yet. And Martin is feeling extra snuggly today. It looks like. So I guess he'll hang out with me while I study. almost done with Anki and questions and stuff though. I just need to do like another 30 minutes and I'll be done. I spent way too much time on this couch today, but that's kind of the nature of med school from home. Just kind of it is what it is. <laughs> A lot of time chilling at home, speeding through lectures and space bar smashing to get through flashcards. Very unglamorous, but you know, that's it. It's not all bad. I mean, you get to be comfortable and basically be in your pajamas all day. I'm just happy I got to get out of the house and like go do something with other students, uh, like hands on today. That was a nice break from the regular routine and grind of med school from home. Oh, actually, forgot to mention guess who's fully vaccinated? Your girl. 
Pfizer, baby. Fully done, both doses, so hallelujah. And I did not get flattened for like 24, 48 hours like I thought I might, because after that second dose, some people were like, ugh, and nothing happened to me. I just was a little bit tired, but like, other than that, not much. If you haven't gotten yours yet, go get it. Mm, I'm ready. <laughs> Time to go to bed. For being like, at home school is still so like mentally exhausting so hopefully this didn't like scare off any um <laughs> future physician hopefuls um it's probably not gonna be this much of a an at-home thing in a year or two it's probably gonna go back to mostly how it was before covid but um i don't know maybe some of this at homeness will stick around but probably not all of it medicine's kind of a thing that you can't do in your pajamas at home always un unfortunately so uh yeah i just hope this video gave you a kind of a feel for what med school at home is like um with how weird it is but also in some ways kind of how nice it is and uh yeah with that i think that's it for the day Wow, cool, you stuck around. Thank you, love you. Let me know you made it to the end here by commenting below your current favorite or all time favorite song or artist because we, I really need a full Spotify refresh. I mean, I love The Cure just as much as any Gen X are out there but even I have my limits. If you enjoyed the video and want to support a growing community of pre-meds and med students, please hit the like button down below, subscribe, and share with your medically inclined friends and family. Thank you again so, so much for watching and catch you next week.